Hello friends, welcome to another video. This video is based on a question posted on Power BI Community Forum. Uh, let me walk through the question. So here the user have the question is like want to calculate the shipping date based on the order date and only the shipping date which is going to be on the working day. So for example, here is an example the user provided. The order date is Wednesday, 30th January 2021. The processing time is five working days. So the earliest ship date is the 20th of January. So 30th of January plus five turns out to be 18th, um, but no, we want to use the 20th because that is uh, uh, on the on the weekend, the 18th. So, so as user explained, this is obvious, obviously seven calendar dates from the order date. Since it cannot include the two days over the weekend, where is working day is equal to zero, it is effectively adds the additional two days. Here is the Power BI file uh, which user has provided. Uh, just quickly go over the model. Uh, what we have here is a, a date table and uh, oops, a date table which is connected to the orders. And then there is a known working days, uh, one to one relationship. I think that is flags when there are known working days. And uh, I think all these columns the user already calculated. So I'm just going to check. Uh, so the user has calculated is working day flag already where it says, okay, if dim day table is a weekend is false and dim day table uh, is holiday is false, then it is a working day is flagged as one, otherwise zero. And is weekend is a, a, a marked as a six and seven as in two and false and uh, basically Saturday and Sunday and then uh, also uh, doing this uh, look of value. I don't think this is required, but um, anyhow, this is already been done. End of the day is working day. If the value is one here, uh, then it's a working day. Other if it's a zero, it means it's a known working day. So on, on the order side, what we have here is a, a these these columns order number order date and the processing time how long the order takes to process the order basically what we need to find the shipping date is add uh, the processing time in the order date and then find out the next working day if 21 21st of january plus 6 is 27th of january january turn out to be on on weekend then we will move to the um, to the working day so that, that's the ask. So let me uh, quickly walk through how we're going to solve it. So let's uh, calculate a, a column called, a, because this is going to be a new column in our model, in our table. So I'm going to call it shipping date, uh, working day only. So what we first need to do is um, let's store order date into a variable. What's our call table is called orders and order date. And we will create a table. First, we will filter our uh, date ca calendar table uh, on or after order date. So let's calculate a created date table. So we'll call a calculate table calculate table so that will be values of dim date table so we want a unique uh, values of dim date table date and then what we're going to do here is we're going to filter this table where is working days is equal to one or true or one is it's a working day so we we want only the working days and then also we're going to filter this table on which is on or after our order date and the order date I already stored in a, in a variable. So that's what it is. So now what this date table will give us a, a dates after order date, on or after order date for working days. So once we have this table, now what we can do is we can add, so a rank into this table and uh, I will tell you what the rank is going to do. So what we're going to do is date table with the rank. So the first date will be marked as, as a uh, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to add columns into our date table. So rank X over our date table. And then we want it to be ranked on the date column and ascending and dance. Oh, we have to give a column name. So that would be maybe rank. So what we did is uh, in the date table, uh, the, the, the date table we calculated on or after order date, which contains only the working days and then ranked those dates into the, um, uh, by the date. So actually maybe if I create this as a table that will help to explain it better. Uh, let's, uh, I'm just gonna go return count rows here date table with rank. Let's actually quickly create a, use this whole expression and create a, a date table. We can, we can use a dummy a order date uh, just to, uh, to see how would this look like. So if I go in and um, modeling and new table and let's uh, call it a table name, let's say temporary date table. Let's store the order date just for the testing purpose. Let's call it 2021, maybe 1st January 7th. And then now what is happening is uh, it is going to filter the date table after se uh, 7th of January for working days and then going to add the rank. Let's, uh, let's return the table with rank and check how does this table look like. If we go into table view. So now I'm looking at the temporary date table. As you can see, uh, if we sort it by sorted sending by date. And it's interesting coming after 21st of January. I'm wondering what the date table is. Actually, the date table is after 21st of January. Maybe that's what the user provided. Maybe I will change it to um, maybe 2nd of uh, February, uh, 7th of February. Just, just want to show how this table will rank will look like. So if we see here, we have a the reason why I'm not seeing 7th of February, because if we go back to our dim date table, the 7th of February is a zero. It means it's non-working day and we don't want to include. That's why the 7th of February is not showing up. So basically here we will see some missing dates, uh, you know, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, and then 13th, 14th, and 15th are missing because those are non-working days. So now these this this these dates are the working dates only after it's a, a 7th of February, which is our order date, dummy order date I put in there. And then this, as I can show, uh, as you can see, um, we are seeing the rank here. So the first date is first and second, and this is how it has been ranked. So, so that's what actually uh, that, um, that particular column I'm trying to uh, add is doing this. So we got this ranking. Now it is very easy from here. What we need to do is um, just get the maximum date where filter our um, date table with the rank. What we are filtering on, where rank, the rank column which we added is equal to orders processing time plus one. And I will tell you why, why, we, why we are doing this. Uh, sorry, and filter date. And this will give us a date. But let me explain what, what we did here, why we are filtering rank with order processing time plus one. Let's take a look at the example here and then we will go to our dummy uh, table. So let's pick a date here. So here is a 21st of January is the first date. 
and uh, the processing time is six. So let's say the temporary date table which I created, we should put like a, a same date. So first and 21st of January. So, so that is now if this particular temp date table, if we look at this temp date table, this is our 21st of January and the ranked only working days. And in the first order, the processing time is six days. So we said rank is equal to processing time plus one. So what does that mean is processing time one is equal to seven. So it means that rank is equal to seven. So that would be 29th of January 2021. The reason why we are adding one to the rank equal to processing time plus one because we don't want order date as the starting um, date. So that's exclusive of order date. So, so if order is on 21st of January and I want six days from here, the processing times, I don't want to include the order date. So I'm going uh, six days. If uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is the like a seventh rank as it's seven. So that's why the six days processing time plus one is equal to the seventh to exclude the order date. Uh, so that the order date is not included as part of the processing uh, number of processing days. If I drop this column here now, the new column which I added. So as you can see, there's a 20 order date is 21st. Processing time six days, 21 plus six is otherwise 27th of January, but this is giving us 29th of January because there are two uh, working days in the uh, non working days in between. Similarly, when we have on 21st of uh, January, the order and the processing time is five days and we are getting 28th of um, January, our, our uh, working date and uh, the shipping date. And then if we are on 21st of January, again, the processing time is seven and seven days. So now I think there are multiple working, non-working days in between and we are getting to the first February. Otherwise it should have a 21 plus seven. If we do the state sum is the 28th of January, but no, in, the, in this particular case, the working date for the shipping date is turned out to be first of February. As you can see, with the creating a temporary table and then filtering on top of that and adding a rank uh, on the date allowed us to uh, do this kind of calculation to get to the working days. I hope you found this video useful. Um, do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a good day. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.